Gonna be checking out the Hokuto's bow this time. Hokuto's bow, when you hit an enemy with it, and it causes them to take a little extra damage. Honestly, when I saw it for the first time, it reminded me a lot of the Ice Bow, and... The thing with the Ice Bow is that I thought that, uh, you know, this is an interesting sort of utility bow, something a little bit different. Oh yeah, you also probably noticed that, yes, I did have to go grab the Hokuto's bow from the shop, because boy did they... ...not want to give it to me as a starting item. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Ice Bow, because the Ice Bow is kind of like a utility bow. Very low ammo, you know, pretty much does only one thing very well because the damage is terrible. That's freezing enemies. This one applies a new type of debuff, which is kind of interesting. I like that. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know, it also has very low damage and it also requires... It's only for 10 seconds and even though 44 DPS, that's like a 1.5 increase on the electric whip here. I don't know if it's really worth taking up an entire slot for that. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see, like, by the end of this if, like, I can get... <laughs> yeah, and, of course, they only give me one Hokuto's bow out of that entire thing, too. Eh. <sighs> well, let me tell you, these reroll machines are just super great for doing these kind of weirdo specific weapon runs. If not, I could just be sitting here for like another 10 minutes or something, just restarting games until I finally got that. But anyway, yeah, low, low damage does only one thing, and I don't know if it does it very well. I suppose that's something to figure out by the end of the run. The way I see it right now, what I'm going to try to do is... Well, get as much use out of it as possible, see what I can, you know... <laughs> well, first level enemies, you know. Get as much use out of it as possible, see how that kind of works, and I want to pair it with like something like the Electric Whip here. So I was kind of lucky to get that at the start. Because the Electric Whip is a weapon that strikes very fast, pretty low damage. So like maybe the Hokuto's Bow can kind of buff it up? Like the, uh, the cousin of the Hokuto's Bow here, which I guess would kind of be like the uh, Corrupted Power. Back in the day when it was known as the Damage Buffer, it was... Like, super overpowered with a weapon like the Electric Whip, because what would happen is... Oh wait, I was facing the wrong direction. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe with the Brutality debuff, uh, the brutality buff and then the debuff along with that, I can kind of get some good use out of it. Hmm. Yeah, back when the Corrupted Power was known as the Damage Buffer, it gave just a flat amount of... ...like, plus damage to anything that you were using. And something that struck really, really fast, like the... ...Electric Whip, would suddenly become super overpowered. I don't really expect... I mean, it explicitly says that it only increases DPS here, so... ...I can't really expect it to be the same sort of, like... ...crazy overpowered that it was before, but maybe, like... It can kind of make it a little bit better. I mean, something like the Electric Whip. Uh, maybe like the Rapier that I saw in the first level there. All that sort of stuff. Maybe it can be... Maybe it can be something, you know, kind of raised a little bit by having a little extra damage. Honestly, I think that what it's going to turn out is that I would rather just have the weapon, the other weapon slot for using something like a shield. Now, aside from the other main weapon that I'm going to be using, I'm thinking that, like... Well, it is only a level 1 electric whip, so... Still takes out those guys pretty well. Sure. I'm, st I'm thinking that the, like, skills that I want to take, something pretty defensive. Like the, um... Crow's Wing would be... I, I mean, as always, I say, you want to build for, like, the boss that you're going to be fighting rather than just generic enemies, since... I don't know. <laughs> Man, it's weird having a bow that shoots in both directions right off the bat here. And actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, the uh, the main like gimmick of the Hokuto's bow probably could have been better as like a modifier. You know, giving you this sort of like a uh, increase DPS to just like a generic bow as kind of like a little bonus to it, I think would have been, like, way better than making an entire bow, which... Well, you know, I say... I'm, I'm gonna keep kind of... Ugh. Oh, wow. 
I'm gonna get you kind of an open mind with it here, but I don't know yet. Really, it seems like just having the brutality bonus has helped more than anything else. Ah. <laughs> also, funny thing with the uh, wave of denial here, it's essentially like a uh, Spartan sandal that is a thousand times better. <laughs> Which is super weird when you think about it. It's like, boy, does the Spartan Sandal need, like, a buff or something. Yeah, ow. Hmm. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was saying, what did I want for... S Still not enough, huh. Yeah, I was saying that what I was looking for for skills was probably something defensive. I think... It, I'll probably talk about this more a little bit later, but yeah, I think that, like... When I'm trying to go for a specific weapon or like something that I don't think would have like a ton of damage uh, A survival? Yeah, and then, uh, not that That <laughs> and Then I'm gonna switch this out Because I honestly think that crow's wings especially during the boss fight With the assassin is an extremely good defensive item as I found out that you can just kind of jump away from her and she cannot attack you at all when you use it. To the point that I may actually want to take like a one or two um, uh, tactics with this just to get that cooldown down enough that I know I can use it quite a bit. And then other than that I'm thinking just like anything that gives a huge like you know, something that by the end of the game I can get like a minus 20% le less damage taken. Like, like I said, I think I'm probably going to maybe like get into that a little bit later. Eh. But it's like, I think that the two builds you're looking for are either overwhelming amount of damage or an overwhelming amount of defense. And either way you want to have full builds for either of those, and endgame items to kind of buff that up. But for right now, I think that the Hokuto's bow, not doing super amazing damage. Like, honestly, that arrow that I'm shooting behind me doing more damage by it than it is by itself. Although, I suppose when you buff it out with the electric whip, that probably changes a bit. Uh, oh, I'm missing a scroll down there. There you go. If I can find a weapons shop, I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm, Although it's like, I would like to kind of keep on top of uh, skills being upgraded, I think that getting a very good weapon is going to be the most important thing I can do here. Because I'm already like, one less... Because as of right now, I'm not going to be using the Hokuto's bow for damage, I'm going to be using it as kind of like a... Yeah, I suppose that's kind of the thing you could think of it as. It's sort of like a weapon that is a skill. Because its main use is to apply a debuff here. Not so much to do uh, damage by itself. Hmm, I don't know. No, obviously it doesn't work on the door. You know, looking at the Hokuto's bow... I think that more than anything else, because it's the only thing that applies that uh, mark debuff on enemies, that it may be more of like a proof of concept sort of weapon than like uh, something meant to be used on its own. Which could be sort of like the uh, Ice Bow or like Frost Blast or something, where it's like, you know, they made the Ice Bow first, and it's like it does have a really nice... Oh, come on. They made the ice crossbow first, it has a really nice thing, but then they made the uh, frost blast second, and then like the ice grenade, and it's just like, oh, well this just totally makes that obsolete. Oh yeah, another thing I think I've noticed with the game here is, I, I was, I've been doing a little bit of testing out with um, some of the dive attack stuff, and I think the dive attack just scales with whatever your highest stat is. So if you went full survival, and like went uh, full defense with all of the equipable items you get. It's like it could be... Actually, ow. Wow, the, the one thing to fall into. Man. I think that it actually could be super possible to do a dive attack only run like with relative ease. I mean, obviously it's possible to do a dive attack only. Uh, more possible than ever because they have increased the amount of... 
because they've increased the uh... oh come on ah you know what screw it more possible than ever because they've increased the amount of uh... like the AOE that it does not even close enough yeah I think right now I'm getting more out of the uh... brutality bonus that I have than like using the Hokuto's bow, and that's mostly because of the amount of enemies that I'm fighting than anything else. Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, when you think about it with, um... Compared to, like, Corrupted Power, Corrupted Power affects every single weapon you have, and it doesn't matter what you're hitting. So, if you have, like, a huge group of enemies, that's great. Whereas the Hokuto's bow only affects one enemy. Yeah. So it's like, well, I hope... I guess... You better hope that you're hitting said enemy. <laughs> and honestly, I don't think it... Next time I see a... Next time I see a uh, skill shop, I'm going to have to check on this, but I think the Corrupted Power actually also does more... more um, buffing. I guess the trade-off is that you take a little bit more damage, but... 30% isn't all that much more. And I think it also gives you like a... Oh, good. This is what I'm looking for. Hey! Uh, 134 versus... Wait a second, what? That can't be right. And it does decrease the amount of damage I take, which is nice. So I guess they kind of consider it like the bow equipped, because yeah, like these things plus 50% damage. This one damage taken minus 10%. So I guess the plan that they were kind of thinking here was that the Hokuto's bow would... I mean, it gets more... No, it doesn't even get more damage. Yeah, that's right, because it's just damage taken. It's supposed to be kind of like an, a, a replacement for your uh, shield. But it doesn't really give you defensive, it just gives you buffs. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to like puzzle out exactly how you'd use this bow. I don't know. You know, in my opinion, I think you would much rather want to use a shield anyway, rather than, like, a bow, because... And if you do use a bow, it better be, like, a bow that does a ton of extra damage. Something... because... Yeah, you know what, I'll talk about it right now. So here's what I've noticed when it comes to, like, fighting the assassin that kind of applies overall to the game. That it's, like... When you're in late game, you're either playing a glass cannon and you're just equipped to the gills with things that increase the amount of damage you do with a huge, like, roster of skills that do extra damage, the, of, like, you know... Uh, what do you call it, uh... Like, ranged weapons that do a ton of extra damage, all that sort of stuff. Or, what you do is you're equipped with a bunch of, like, utility items, like, uh tonics or grappling hooks or this yeah phasers I think also do that and you can kind of and you know stuff that it's like are there to kind of like buff up you know like you're using a single weapon and then everything else there is help to help you survive the battle yeah I think this would be the time to take a tactics or mm, uh, yeah Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, I think that the way they have designed the game right now is that it's supposed to be, like, hmm. Ah, screw it. <laughs> is that, like, yeah, like, the way it's supposed to be is that you either have, like, a bunch of uh, items that are kind of, like, buffing you up. Wow, is this, like, the second time this has happened? <laughs> that are either buffing you up and, like, giving you a bunch of different advantages when it comes to survival or, like, increasing your damage in various ways, like the grappling hook. Or what you do is you just have a whole ton of items that do tons and tons of damage and you're, and you're not even worried about getting hit because the plan is that you're going to kill everything before they can even touch you. And I think that's kind of, like, you can see that in the fact that, like, and... Things that help you survive, things that buff you up, all that sort of stuff, give you, ow, minus damage taken so that 
you know, you're able to last longer and set up traps and all that sort of stuff. Whereas, if you're just trying to get, like, tons and tons and tons of damage, it gives you plus damage to everything. And I think that's why I was having such a hard time, like, uh... I think that's why I was having such a hard time doing, like, some of the challenge runs. Because pretty much I didn't have, like, the overwhelming amount of damage, and at the same time, I didn't have the... Ooh. Okay. I didn't have the overwhelming amount of damage, and at the same time, I also... Whoa! <laughs> I didn't have the overwhelming amount of damage, and at the same time, I also didn't have, like, the uh, defense that you would get from even just carrying around some of the, like, more defensive items like tonics. And that's why I always ran into the fact that... Whoa, 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 no. Ah! Okay, this is also questionable. <laughs> Alright, that worked out okay. <laughs> I guess I probably could have also probably just spammed my uh, electric whip there and worked would have worked out equally as well. But, uh, I was panicking. <laughs> no simpler way to put that. Ah, uh, here. I suppose it would make... If, if you're trying to play super safe with, like, an electric whip, that would definitely make it easier. 209 DPS. Hmm. But yeah, like, uh... I didn't have the extra items there to give me defense, so I would take a whole ton of extra damage, but then I also didn't have all the offensive items that would give me just, like, super powerful attacks to take out, say, the assassin really quickly. And although I would say that I can play a pretty decent dodge game, I can't play, like, a perfect dodge game as much as I'd like to. Which is why, you know, taking only a single item, it would just be more worthwhile to... Yeah, Ice Boat does the same sort of thing, all damage taken minus. And I don't think anything else I would see would do that. Let's take a look. Damage, damage, damage. That's a fun one. Uh... Similarly, yeah, damage, damage, damage. Huh, that's interesting. So I suppose you could consider these like the shields of the ranged weapons. Yeah, but I think that, yeah, if you're playing the game and you're wondering, like, how should I play it? Like, I suppose, think about it. It's like, do you want to go in really fast, really hard, then just take all of the plus damage equipment that you can? Do I want to go in kind of like turtle in the corner, you know, like, use my shield to its fullest extent? Like, kind of play it slow, play it carefully? Uh, just look for items that have uh, minus damage received on them. You know, I suppose this would probably be good for, like, a... If you're doing, like, a low, um... What is the word I'm thinking for? Oh, come on! Yeah, if you're doing, like, a low-level weapon rerun, like, if you want... Like, if the DPS does not increase, only increases, like, with your brutality or whatever, rather than... Eh. Thanks for going right back underground, by the way. Yeah, if you're going for, like, a wep only, like, level one weaponry, it's like the Hokuto's bow could probably be pretty useful for that sort of thing. If you want to do, like, that sort of challenge run. Or if you're thinking that you're going to be taking, like, skills the entire time, and you're not really going to be, like, you're going to be basically ignoring weaponry shops. Uh, could also work, too. I don't know. That said, I feel like I'm already doing a decent amount of damage to the Watcher here. I didn't really have any plan of, like, the direction that I was going with this game. Oh, come on. Oh, what was that, even? Ah, weird hitboxes on these platforms strike again. But, yeah, I... Yeah, I didn't really have any plan of, like, where I wanted to go with this episode. I was just like, eh, I'll just go to whatever one I run into as I'm kind of talking about, like, as I'm theorycrafting, you know. 
The new six strats for dead cells. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. But like, yeah, you know, I think Watcher... Hmm. I don't really see Hokuto's bow doing, like, an overwhelming amount of damage, but it doesn't seem to be... Like, it's not bad. It's making it better to do it like this. I don't know, I guess it's kind of hard to expect anything to be super overpowered at this point in the game anyway, since they have really been trying to prevent that sort of thing from happening. Oh, come on. There, how about that? <laughs> You know, I think the other thing is that uh, if I was going to do, like, single weapon only challenge runs, that, like, the best way to do it at this point would probably be to just try to take, like, shields, try to get, like, the best necklace that I possibly can. Try to get all the minus 20% endgame damage stuff. Here. I'll get back here. This was such a good idea, I don't know. Uh. You know, and just, like, not actually use any of those items, but, like, just, you know, kind of keep them in the back pocket just so I'm not taking so much damage from the assassin. Or just get better at fighting the assassin. That would also be a probably better way to do it, too. Because I still get hit by that grab attack way too often. So you can apply multiple marks at the same time. And yeah, they both have like their own cooldown and everything too. Or they they both last for different amounts of times. Because like with some skills, you'll notice that like they if one if you use like two of them at once, for example, two crow's wings, you don't get like double the amount of time. Oh, come on. You don't get like double the amount of time uh, in the air. What you do is it just wears out and then you have two cooldowns to deal with. Ah, screw it. <laughs> and that's why I didn't go to the Watcher with the Crow's Wings. Now they're popping out of the ground quicker, I should get more use out of the mark. Yep. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Want to get that double marked on goodness. Which doesn't exist, I just... He would have two arrows in him, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, it didn't work at all. Alright, Watcher should be done in just a couple seconds here. Unless I have to deal with, like, another bullet hell attack, which I would really prefer not to. Don't do it. I don't even care, man. I can rally this back up easy enough. Ah, screw it, because he's going to do it. He's doing it right now. I can see it. Oh, come on. Ugh. Terrible. Oh, wait, did I hit him? No, he doesn't have the mark on him. Then I don't know. Oh, just get back here. Man. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the graveyard. Why? Because I never get a chance to if I go the other route. Yeah, I do like the idea of having, like, the mark here. It's just, this feels like it doesn't do enough. Like, 149 damage for with two shots. It's like, I would rather have some other thing be able to, like, apply a mark or, like, do something that... I don't know, just... Like, I like the idea of doing more damage, essentially. That's cool, but, like, I don't know what the best way to, like, make this applicable would would be. And I don't think that, like, 
you know, like I said, I, I've never been a huge fan of like the ice bow, like the utility bow type thing, unless they were going to make it much better than it already is. So I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a time door in here now. I keep forgetting about that. And it doesn't even matter. 14 seconds. Amazing. Uh, how does that keep happening to me? <laughs> Never happens on ones that I'm not. It never happens on runs that I'm not recording. All right. Shouldn't be too difficult to get. Uh, what is going on here? <laughs> Motion twin. What did you do? What is this? What is this bush league stuff? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm still using an electric whip one from the very start of the game. Boy, I would really like to upgrade this. Ah, well, it still works as a bug zapper pretty well. I could be doing uh, around a thousand damage a second. For the electric whip, that's not bad. And that would also be plus 209. 209 DPS, especially at this stage of the game, isn't all that much. And maybe it does, like, scale with brutality, it just doesn't say it, sort of like how shields work, but, um, I don't know. He almost hit me anyway, despite the fact that he was killing himself as I came upon him. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? What the? What the? Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go see what's in the Architects thing. I did not know that the key was in the game right now. Okay. I... Did they add the repository of the Architects of the game? Uh, I'm a little excited and also thinking that this probably isn't anything actually interesting. <laughs> because I found that pretty easily. I don't know. Let's take a look. Man, I would just have spun this off into its own video if I knew there was going to be uh, new content that I was uncovering in this. What you got? Ugh. Wow. Wow. Man. <laughs> like the... The build-up and the disappointment is... Palpable. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, back to the run, let's go. Maybe there's supposed to be, I don't know, maybe that's a place where there's like a, something. <laughs> a blueprint usually, usually that's where they put blueprints. Eh, nothing worthwhile. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think I really looked at what was going on outside of this door. I hope I don't immediately die. <laughs> Alright, that's not- Ah! Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was... close. Oh, man. Yeah, I wonder if that's just future content or something, because, like, come on, that could, that couldn't be it. That honestly just could not be it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there might be another cursed chest in here if I could get one. But hey, if you're looking for where the architect's key is, now you know. Because I totally did not know that was there. Ow. It's back and forth, back and forth. Ow. Alright, alright, alright. I mean, first off, no more damage. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I saw in the uh, patch notes that they... took out the... Um, took out the extra damage enemies get for being... Ooh, this could also... You know what? Electric Whip's not super great, but Spike Boots are. And that's also a something that attacks super fast and could really benefit from having the Hokuto's bow with it. Especially with that, uh... 
Yeah, 407 DPS. That's pretty nice. Ooh. Yeah, something I noticed in the patch notes. Now enemies no longer get ex uh, no longer get buffed from being invisible. Ha! <laughs> oh, right, right, right. I'm not using the electric whip anymore. Nope. <laughs> yeah, enemies no longer get buffed. They no longer have the 150% damage, I want to say it was. Which is weird, because I always assumed that that was an intentional design decision and not something that was an accident. Oh, this is one the one that I've already been in. I totally forgot about that. Oh, well, whatever. And if I actually killed any of the enemies, I probably would have known that. Yeah, it's like, you know, like the fogger really only just obscures enemies, and they're usually not that difficult to see if you're even a little careful. So I assume that the fact that they got a huge damage buff by... <laughs> Man, this looks so stupid. By being in there was supposed to be an intentional thing. Apparently not. Alright, all right. You, you get out of here. Take that too. Aw oh, man, I just want to say again, it's like I was super excited to go see what the repository of the Architects was. And it's like, nope, Malachite. Ah. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Okay. Um. Okay. I think that the, uh... A spiked boot can also be super good against the assassin because, you know, she attacks really fast and getting the critical off will... And I remember in one of the runs I did that you could actually... Like, in that part where she would um, start summoning shurikens, she's considered, like, always attacking at that part. Ow! Hey, man! <laughs> it's like she's considered, like, always attacking at that part, so you can get a bunch of criticals off in a row. Oh, missing a scroll back there. I should go back and get that. Yeah, and I just want to check. Nothing else. Nothing else. Uh, okay. Maybe I can get a Hokuto bow upgrade. In fact, I can right now. <laughs> yeah, still only 407... Doesn't even... Well, of course it doesn't... I keep thinking it's going to increase the damage, but it tells you literally how much it would increase the damage, for example, on Spike Boots there, plus 50%. Uh... Yeah, hey, you know what does increase the damage, though? Shooting more arrows. So, I'm going to take that. Why is this one so expensive? Ooh, a survival plus one. Now that this has more damage to it... Might have actually been kind of cool to get with, uh... You know, get that little extra health and doing close range shots with that will take out most enemies in like a single hit. Ah, well, I'm probably not even going to get that much money, much gold before I'm done with this area at this rate. Alright. What? Uh, stupid ranges. Alright. Still got me anyway. So, what do we got going on down here? I mean, as always, it's like, man, these later areas, well, the areas in this update have gotten so huge that it is just super hard to kind of tell where you want to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, then. Never mind. My complaints have been diffused. Rendered null and void. Maybe what they're planning to do is, like, uh... Because there's a bunch of, like, uh, more secret areas that have been... Ooh, nice. 
There's a bunch more secret areas that have been kind of popping up lately. Maybe what they're planning to do is... Like, sort of... I don't know, like, increase the amount of blueprints you get from kind of exploring areas rather than just... You know, having to grind out enemies instead. Because they did do that sort of thing with, like... Because they did do that sort of thing with, like, um... Ah, gotcha. Okay. Oh. They did do that sort of thing with the, uh, with the two, um... Uh, shields they introduced in this patch. The Punishment and the Counter Shield. You know, take those from dropping from the... What was it? A shield bearer and defender, respectively, and put them in creative, interesting, like a uh, puzzle locations, or at the very least, like a uh, rewarding you for doing some exploration, which I really appreciate, and I think is a lot better than you know, uh, grind till you do not want to play this game anymore. <laughs> which is kind of how I, that was actually one of the very first uh, commentated videos I did, which was essentially just complaining about the terrible RNG festival that was trying to grind out blueprints. Oh, come on. I don't believe that didn't hit anything. What would you put in some place that you gotta have a key to the architects to get, though? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm not gonna be getting too much use out of the Hokuto's bow until I get to the assassin at this point, because I'm doing so much damage otherwise. You know, like, what's, what's the damage I'm getting? Uh, I didn't even see. <laughs> right to the wall, and there we go. Ah. Okay. I can't see. Spartan Sandal's in the way. Should show up as, like, a little yellow number. Yeah, here, let's do this. Remember, the curse doesn't activate until you get that message. <laughs> Something that... Oh, that'd be a really good one. 8,000 damage? I suppose I'm actually getting that with a spike boot right now. Ah, whatever. Not the time for it, anyway. 10,000 damage with the spike boots. Might just be finishing up the assassin with that alone. And occur, and come on. Ooh, close. Not close enough, though. Yeah, and I think that's kind of one of the things that you run into when you're thinking about, like, hey, let's do a run with the Hulk Toes bow. Because it's like, a lot of the... As you get kind of, like, later in the game, a lot of the enemies you're fighting are... Uh, die so quickly... Anyway... That, like, getting a little extra damage is really going to be mostly only useful for bosses, elites. Maybe, like, if you're trying to get a blueprint or something and you're turning enemies into elites. I still have not used the Hunter's Grenade. <laughs> hey, I got there ahead of the crowd and just ground out everything before they even put it in the game. Because I'm, well, <laughs> way too dedicated to this game sometimes, it seems. All right, let's see if I can not have half of the episode be taken up by the Sepulchre or Clock Tower this time. Still nothing. And yeah, there's no way that I got the time door right now. Nah, it doesn't matter, they're being taken out in one shot. I'm definitely interested to see if they have any other plans for the mark. I really think that this is just kind of a proof of concept, like, hey, check out this crazy new... Check out this crazy new, um... Hey guys, come on. 
check out this crazy new uh, debuff that we got going on here. And that's... And they didn't really, like... Ooh, I'll take that. They didn't really think about too much, like, after that point. Yeah. What's the damage you actually get from this? This is about the same as... Spike boots if I wasn't using a... If I wasn't getting the critical. Yeah, you know, I said before, it's just like, man, Denial Wave sure made spiked boots just like... Or, not spiked boots, um... Sure made Spartan sandals just like nothing now. <laughs> it's like, for something that I wasn't... Oof. Close there. And for some, uh, and for a weapon that I was never really all that enthused about using before, it's like now it just feels like it matters even less. 13,000 damage. Man. Getting there. Ah. I think I'm probably going to do a denial wave run next time. That seems like that would be fun. All right. I do have two more chances at a shop. I don't know if it's worth it to even go there, though. I suppose if I could finally get an upgrade for my... for my skills here, which have been kind of lacking this entire run. I mean, you could just see some of the pathetic damage that I was doing with the, uh, with the crow's wings when I even, you know, made the slightest attempt to use them. Uh, I guess I'm just going back here. So that would really be the only thing I'm on the lookout for. I'm actually really low on gold, that, more so than you would normally be, I think, at this time. And I think that's kind of a symptom of the fact that I'm not going to, like, the Slumbering Sanctuary or the Clock Tower, which have a lot more, which have a lot more elites in them. That was decent damage. If enemies would stop dying in one hit. Yeah, getting like plus 300, it seems like, from the Hokuto bow hit, I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, killing guys too quick to tell. Oh, there's where the first shop is. Totally just ran right past it. I'm so used to it being so much later in the level. <laughs> Complaining endlessly about it. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Good. I don't know, I'm mostly carrying this for the survival right now. Uh, uh I'll re-roll it. What do you got? Lose a tactics. Yeah, but that tactics does reduce cooldown time, too. Uh, I don't know. I'll try one more, one more. Yeah, maybe if I get some more money, I'll be back here later. But right now, nothing's really catching my eye as being worth taking. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah. Nah, I didn't see if that actually knocked him out of the uh, spinning. Here, let's check. Oh, went too fast. Okay, you guys got to go down. Oh, amazing. I still can't tell how much damage that is. Whatever, it doesn't matter. 16,000. Pretty good. Oh, that was quick, too. Yeah, Hokuto's bow, a reference to 1243 DPS now. It's not bad. Yeah, Hokuto's bow, reference to Fist of the North Star. I have neither seen the anime nor read the manga, so <laughs> not too much I can say based on that. Oh, finally, finally, finally. So if you were expecting an episode where I was going to make reference to that like a hundred times, sorry, I don't know. It's kind of weird. You'd think that, 
Wow, tactics plus three. And it's like almost just like a straight upgrade minus the losing one jump. Sure. Neat. So yeah, if you were uh, expecting that when you came to the episode for me to make a bunch of references to that and like, I don't know, Fist the Clear Sky? Was that the other one? Blue Sky? Eh, whatever. Maybe someday. Four hundred and ten, it looks like I'm getting. So I guess you attack like what, three times in one second? I can do math. Alright, what do we got here? Take an upgrade to the Hoku bow if I can. Oh man! <laughs> That'd be fun. But no. There is no way I'm gonna get that much money by the end of this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And there's a Hey, that's something to check out. I don't know if the shots pierce will apply multiple marks. Something to check out if I manage to get the money. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Can you give me a second here? Apparently not. All right. Okay, and you down. And you, I hate, so you're going down as well. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Oh, right. Wow, it just never ends with these guys. Oh, I was hoping to hit them all. Maybe in three seconds, I'll do this. That's a few of them, at least. Oh, those spinners really can do some damage if you let them. Okay, here we go. Should be like the end, probably coming up right here, if I'm lucky. No, not quite. Then can check out what the assassin fight is going to be like here. I'm guessing probably not going to be too much of an issue. It's like this... This is a pretty good, like, uh, combination for... Oh, yeah, looks like I'm not going to get that, uh... Wow! Look at that. And there, and there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like I said, you can uh, knock her out of animations for, I think, even longer than you can, like, be able to stun her with a, uh, what do you call it, like, ice grenade, ice crossbow, frost blast, anything like that. Like, you can only, like, s you can only, like, freeze her, like, three, four times, I want to say, before you can't do it anymore, and, like, the, but I should be able to knock her out of attacks for, like, five, six times, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this is great stuff. Yep, and here, there was the uh, multiple hits that I was telling you to get. All right then. <laughs> okay, now she's she's not having any more of it. Oh, Ooh, close there. Hey, already in the uh, third phase. That's kind of surprising. Thankfully, you do have that, like, extra little second to be able to, um... Ow. I don't even know why I thought that was gonna work. You do have that, like, extra little second to be able to dodge her. Alright, that's enough of that. 
Okay, and... Ow. Yeah, and you don't even get any, any, like, pushback from... Wow, that is still really hard to dodge. I don't know why. Oh. Nope. Oh, and that's why I took that with me. <laughs> Whoo. Whoo. -ah. Hey, excuse me, I'm healing here. Can't you let me scum this fight out? Oh. Nah, yeah, that's kind of stupid. Totally unnecessary. And... <laughs> that was entirely unnecessary, but eh, I felt good. Might have been getting like more out of that with the crow's wing in the end. More out of the Hokuto's bow with the crow's wing by the end there. Why am I even healing? This is entirely unnecessary. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like you don't get enough of a buff with that to really make it worthwhile in the end. I don't know. Maybe when I'm looking over this video, I'm going to be like, Oh, wow, no, that was really doing some work. But right now, eh.